What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Temporary Table. My name is Valor, and this time we're taking a look at the Northeast Designs Venturi. This is a internal mag grip-fed pistol, which uses a very, very interesting propulsion mechanism. And yeah, let's get into it. Starting right at the back, you got the grip, which is kind of chunky, but, you know, it's still got a bit of a narrow spot right in the middle there. On mine, I've sanded it down, as well as given it a custom serial number plate, which SN Val, which the ones you get from him will have a more of a gold PLA, which with the number and everything more pronounced. I have mine more subdued in a nice brass, which I want to take this plate off again and run it through a rock tunnel to get really polished. But yeah, like, it's quite nice. Like, and I know that he has a version of the grip that actually takes what he calls V-Mags. So, there is that if you still want to be able to run your magazines and all that. And he'll release the files for the V-Mags later on. They're based on the Kotobu uh, geometry. So, it will be Katana-ish. Then, on to the back here, you got yourself a T-Pole, which is nice and stout. Mine's a little bit wobbly, but I can fix that by adding a little bit of tape. So, no worries there. The prime is a little bit on the beefy side because it uses a full, a, not full, a section of K26, which mine is a bit on the full side, which you saw it actually, un, actually released the catch there. It's because my spring is ever so slightly too long, so it's getting completely compressed, which lends to some catching issues, but that's not on Ben, that's on me, because I built this from a hardware kit, which he actually sells hardware kits for these now. He didn't want to sell hardware kits for a while because he wanted to really recoup his sort of R&D costs similar to how Ensuzel gets did with the Hummingbird. And yeah, like, it uses a really interesting propulsion mag, considering it uses a plunger that goes backwards compared to the double rainbows that we used to build back in the NIC days, which we're still in the NIC days, but still, you get what I mean. It uses a PVC T and a elbow for chambering, you get the T up top and then you got the elbow down below so the air can be diverted up and around. The fact that it has a little bit of dead space like that does mean there is some variance inherent in the system, but considering you get good performance out of this thing anyway, I'm not opposed to that, you know. To load, you prime it back, which you saw mine it's getting really compressed, so I'm not really easily able to prime it back all the way. But you prime back, you kind of push your finger upwards, which he has a version of left and right version of the grip, so if you're right or left-handed, you can get the slide lock on either side. You just lock it back, and then you've got ample room to just shove in darts, and I believe this thing holds eight or nine darts, give or take just depending on what darts you have and all that jazz, which I need to actually sand my mag a little bit. Well, sand it and lube it because it's a little bit grindy, if you can hear that. But yeah, you can... Normally you'd be able to just kind of hit the release and it'll slam down chamber a dart and everything, and then you'll be ready to fire. But since mine is so compressed on the spring, which you can kind of see if you look in there, it's absolutely fully compressed. it's not being that reliable. And as is, I'm getting sort of 150s-ish. Uh, though on the blasters that Ben has built, he's gotten upwards of like 180, which is quite crazy. But then again, that does tend to be more on the fluke shots and everything because of the inherent sort of dead space in the system, which causes some variance, which, you know, different darts. Your dart quality will certainly affect your FPS on this thing. Moving farther forward, you got the sort of pivoting catch system here, which you got the trigger right here, you got the pivot right here, and the actual catch is in a plate up here. Up on the front, you got your guard for the catch system, as well as what doubles now as the pump grip, which before it was just a sort of shield to protect everything, but now you can actually just pump prime the blaster, which is quite neat, considering you can have a internal mag grip-fed pistol pump action and it's a good size so having it be a two-handed thing to wield is not that bad you got some carbon fiber pump arms with well, pump arms 
pump guides, which make things nice and smooth. You got a nice, I believe it's 527 or 509 aluminum. I'm not sure which, it's probably 527, which is the same stuff as the Caliburn. There is a little bit of exposed barrel up at the front inside this muzzle, so you could easily attach a Caliburn style, or at least Caliburn sized suppressor, scar, whatever you want to call it, in there. And yeah, you get, like, it's certainly a more expensive blaster, but then again, I, Slug has sort of spoiled us in the hobby with his low prices in high volume. Ben's prices reflect the fact that he knows he's not going to sell a huge, huge number of these, so, you know, the around 200 is what I believe is what he was selling these for uh, last I checked. And, yeah, like, I still believe it's worth the price, and, you know, you can always get a hardware kit from him as well if you have your own printer and you like printing things yourself, which, you know, I like to build things, and it's, it's like a puzzle, you know? He has some nice good instructions as well on how to build this thing so you're not going to be like alone in the dark building this thing either you know there is a good resource base as well as several users that have their venturis and know how to work on them and yeah as ever i'll drop a link down below to northeast designs facebook as well as his uh his website as well as my own patreon if you want to help support the channel it always helps me it keeps me afloat and all that jazz and i'm very very grateful for everyone who supports me on patreon because it's really helped me get through these past couple months where i've been without a car so yeah as ever my name is valor links down below thanks for watching